to solve the question we know the coordinates of a which is 4 comma 3 and b are 6 comma 0 all right and they are given as p which lies on the line x plus y is equal to 4 and the condition given to us is p a minus p b should be minimum all right so p a minus p b will be minimum only when p a is equal to p b all right for example if you take p a is 7 units and p b is 5 units you will get the difference is 2 and let p b be greater 7 minus 5 minus 7 is also equal to 2 but the distance uh, the difference is the least only when both are equal right so p a must be equal to p b so let us just make a rough diagram of what the question depicts so if this is a point a and this is the point B and uh, this is the line x plus y is equal to 4 this is a, a rough representation and P is a point on this line then P A should be equal to P B alright and P would be a uh, line passing from P would be the perpendicular on A. So we have to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of AB. So to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of AB, let us suppose that P point is x comma y. Then finding the slope of AB. The points A and B are given to you. Slope can be found out using y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. 0 minus 3 by 6 minus 4 will give you minus 3 by 2. So slope of MP that is the perpendicular into slope of AB is equal to minus 1. So 3 by 2 into MP is equal to minus 1. So slope of the perpendicular will be 2 by 3 so using this data now we can write the equation of the perpendicular bisector of AB which is um, now you know that perpendicular bisector will also carry the point which is the midpoint of A and B so midpoint of A and B because perpendicular will divide it into two equal line segments and will also form a 90 degree angle so the midpoint of a and b will lie on this perpendicular so let us find the point which is m the midpoint of a and b using the coordinates of a and b we can find the midpoint x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y y2 by 2 so that will be 4 plus 6 by 2 comma 3 plus 0 by 2 so the midpoint is 10 by 2 comma 3 by 2 that is 5 comma 3 by 2 so substituting that point in the equation to write the equation on the perpendicular bisector will be y minus 3 by 2 is equal to slope into x minus 10 by 2 5 so this will give you 2y minus 3 by 2 is equal to 2x minus 10 by 3 so 3 into 2y minus 3 is equal to 2 into 2x minus 10 so 6y minus 9 is equal to 4x minus 20. So 4x minus 6y is equal to 11. This is the first equation. Alright. Now they have already given us an equation of um, a line. And P point lies on this line which is x plus y is equal to 4. So solving these two equations together will give you the coordinates of 
P which is X and Y. Right, multiply this equation by 4 will give you 4X, 4Y is equal to 16. And now multiply the first equation with minus sign. Will give you 10Y is equal to 16 minus 11 is 5. So y is equal to 1 by 2. Substituting it in one of the equations will give you x plus y which is 1 by 2 is equal to 4. So x is equal to 4 minus 1 by 2 which is x is equal to 8 minus 1 by 2 x is equal to 7 by 2 now that we have the coordinates of a and b we can find the area of the triangle a p b which will be half of the determinant 4 3 1 coordinates of a coordinates of P 7 by 2 1 by 2 1 coordinates of B 6 0 1 on solving this determinant we will get half into 4 into solving the first row of the determinant will give you half into 1 by 2 minus 0 minus 3 into 7 by 2 minus 6 plus 1 into 0 minus 3 half into 2 plus 15 by 2 minus 3 this is half into 4 plus 15 minus 6 by 2 will give you half into 13 by 2 which is 13 by 4 is equal to m by n as given in the question and we have to find m minus n equal to 13 minus 4 is 9.